the first thing I think. Um, look at everyone who is no one, we're not going to go repeating everything again. I think for the people that's looking in, because there's probably a lot of eyes from people with different interests in all of this um, watching today, I think it is to be noted, and Tom, you might comment on this, um, that the proposed pipe um, is actually on normal winter levels. It's not that it's going to drain the turlock, and I think that that needs to come out very clear from this commission meeting. The people are very reasonable. If it was me, I'd be looking, and I've said it many a time, that we should have two different levels that you could knock off and have your summer and winter. But in fairness to the people, they have um, agreed that to be normal winter level, that to be um, would, would suffice um, to make sure that they protect protected their houses. Tom, in relation to land at normal winter level, how much would you get back, or Lauren, so you, how much would you get back of that, roughly, um, in your estimation? Geraldine, um, I know I've seen the email that you have replied that there's a meeting coming up, um, I think the 10th, is that right, of 10th of November, for an update. Um, and Chairman, if I can, and I hope it's second, um, that this committee today would propose that, um, that the Department of Agriculture engage with the OPW, um, because the Minister was going bringing um, the Department of Agriculture, he was bringing housing, um, Roscommon County Council and themselves together, but that this committee fully endorses that we would propose and second, if someone does it, second, yes. that we would, that the Department of Agriculture will engage with the OPW in helping them in the resolution. There's a simple resolution to this, and that is to finish the job that is two thirds done. Um, in relation to the Turlock, um, I would have spoken to people in the National Parks, and I'll be honest here, if you're to go through the procedure, and I've, you know, I've said this to you before, it's about a four year process between all the rigmarole you have to go through. I'd be hoping that, that this is going to be resolved long before that, to be, to be blunt about it. Bear, and I think we have to be honest as politicians, bear that some of these self-interest parties that have no clue or don't live in those areas still decides to keep going to the courts. And that's a risk, and there's no point in saying <coughs> it's not. Um, the other question is in relation to um, the, say the, the lands, Tommy, that farmers have lost. And I know you said you're not interested in, 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 in being looked at, but while someone is affected by something, no more than Shask Mountain below in Leitrim, where there was a bog slide. There was um, a force majeure thing there to help the farming community. And I would ask you if you can get engaged with any of us here in relation to that with the Department of Agriculture, because it's, it's a sad story to hear someone that has 12 cows, have a, which isn't a lot of cows, to be honest about it. It's the average farm in the west of Ireland having to go down to four cows. It wasn't your fault. It was basically what happened with the, the, the situation there. Um, our understanding is, um, I know that pumps were taken away um, lately, but our understanding, we've t I've talked to the OPW and I'm sure the rest of the deputies have talked and, and senators, um, they have said that they are basically um, going to be on standby that if there's, if there's a problem, that they're there um, to willing to help. But I think we have to be honest as well as a committee. Agriculture, um, while everyone else will be talking to all the different bodies, agriculture um, needs to get involved. But at the end of the day, it's going to be the OPW and Roscommon County Council through the system they have to go through. And, and rightly, as Lardens, as you've pointed out, it'll happen other places. It happened last week in Galway out in, uh, in, in, in uh, Connemara, where Galway County Council were once again stopped through the same rigmarole and BS that goes on um, in blocking jobs from being done where there was, where there was more, um, uh, where there was more um, problems happening. We have seen the house situation, um, and as you've said, you know, <laughs> we're up here and we hear it every day, everyone has a right to housing. 
you have your houses and you're being driven out, to be quite blunt about it. That's a damnable situation when you have your own houses and houses that you have paid for. Um, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to harp on. I would ask the chair, would he accept that proposal that we do that from this committee? I think it's very important um, that there's engagement between DAFM and the OPW because we need all the jigs or all the bodies going together to make sure that this pipe is finished. A few weeks will finish this pipe. A few weeks will finish it. And I think that um, once they have, but they have to go, and I've said this at the meetings, they have to go through the different hoops and loops and all the different stuff to make sure. Um, but I think what the people, uh, everyone in that area require is that they need to see a, a sort of action phase by phase. There is a few phases to go through but, and in fairness, they were promised to meet, and I think in three months when we're up before Geraldine, I think that's, that in fairness, that's going to happen now, yeah, and, and, and that's a good thing. But we will need, um, you know, certain updates that, that it's moving forward, because it cannot stand still. It has to be driven on, and it has to be... And, and, the, and one very important point, this isn't just about Lock Finchin. This is about any part, down in Cork at the moment, there's a place here in Dublin, we see Connemara, any part of the country that this crops up again, you cannot wait for six or seven years to solve it. And ye are basically going to be the test case in resolving this. And I think in fairness to every politician, regardless of politics, because this is bigger than politics, um, I think every politician will be helping in any way to uh, succeed. Thanks. Okay, just to answer the Fitz Morris, I presume um, there's no objections to be accepting his proposal? No, Okay, um, Senator O'Brien seconded it there. Um, I don't think you asked any question there, Michael, did you? Tell me about the, about, about the, the, if it came down to the norm, how much of the land would be left and uh, to think about the force majeure. Okay, well, sorry. Just to deal with the answers, actually, in, in my own case, uh, if, if, the, if the solution was completed, which would bring the total back to its normal a level, at the highest point of his normal level, that's all it would do. The winter uh, level. I, the, the, winter le the, high, the high winter level. Mm -hmm. I would expect to have about uh, 30 acres restored to me uh, for the eight, nine, ten months, depending on the weather again, mm -hmm. of each year. Okay. Uh, it, now, the, the difficulty with it, it, that 30 acres might get need, because now that land is now covered with water for the last yeah. five, six, seven years. If I, it would take it some time to recover, yeah, yeah. but you, you must start someplace. Okay. I suppose, Chairman, if I just might say thanks for your, your comments, uh, Deputy. Uh, with regard to, we, we have a lot of bad news given out today. I think we have to appreciate the work done by Minister Donovan and by the yeah. OPW trying to do their best to find a social worker with the Scarman County Council. Pumps have been taken out, but they will be restored as soon yeah, as, and they're only on standby close yeah. by as well. Uh, but it's extraordinary. Everybody from the Taoiseach down is supporting the concept of getting a solution to this, except for the courts. And, and that, that's something that I think surprises many people, how you can't do something when you have the entire Rochtus on your side and you have everybody else on your side as well. So, but I want to record our appreciation for the work already done by the OPW in particular. I think we need to get National Parks and Wildlife involved because this is a huge environmental issue as well. Thank you.